Hi, kid, and welcome to this Kid Time Story Time celebrating a hundred days of cool. Oh, is this one of those stories where children, like, say, the ones pictured there, suffer extreme suffering under extremely cold temperatures? I'm pretty sure that the answer to your question, Maleficent, is yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Have you even read this book? Well, no, but I'm about to see. So there's a possibility that the story will turn out exactly as I envision it. <laughs> well, I guess she's right, but I doubt that that's what the book involves. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Why? Because this is a math start book. So it's fun, but it's also going to teach you some important numeric stuff. Don't worry, it won't hurt. It'll be super fun. Hey, why do you guys look so weird? Asked Toby. It was the first day of school. Maggie, Nathan, Yoshi, and Scott looked really wild. Well, check out these outfits. They are, is it like a costume day? Look at these guys there. This one, she kind of looks like a hippie, and this looks like a superstar. He looks like maybe the ringleader of a circus. She looks like a pop star. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty wild stuff that they're wearing here. I'd ask the same question. Didn't you hear? Asked Maggie. Our new teacher. Oh, let me get this over here so you can see. Oh, because it's such a big book. Sorry about that. I might have to switch back and forth a little bit. Didn't you hear? Asked Maggie. Our new teacher, Mrs. Lopez, is going to have us celebrate 100 days of cool. So we dressed as cool as we could. Not cool, said Toby. School. Oh, no, grumbled Scott. Leave it to Maggie to get it wrong. We don't even have time to go home and change, said Yoshi. Well, then, let's go for it, said Nathan. Well, that's the spirit. Why not go for it? You've already got the rock and duds on. Rock it all the way. Whoa! Miss Lopez looks surprised. <laughs> she couldn't believe her eyes when the four cool kids walked into the classroom. We're all set for the first day of school, Nathan announced. The, the, the first day of, of cool? Asked Mrs. Lopez. Oh, I get it. Great idea. If you can keep this up for 99 more days, we'll have a cool party to celebrate. Do you think you can do it? You bet, shouted Maggie, and the others, yeah, agreed. Sure, I mean, you could you could dress this wackily every single day. It just takes persistence and an eye for style. All right, shifting back. But the very next day, oh no, what happened the very next day? Maggie, Nathan, Scott, and Yoshi, well, uh, they all looked normal when they arrived at school. No, that's boring. There was not one sequin or pair of sunglasses among them. What happened? Toby teased. Did you give up already? Day two, and we're still cool, said Yoshi, as they lifted up the legs of their jeans. Cool socks, someone yelled from the back row. Look at that. They're wearing their cool on their socks this time. It's like secret undercover cool. Ha! They still have 98 days to go. Uh-oh, do I get a feeling that Toby doubts their stick to -itiveness? Days went by. <laughs> On day five, they decorated their bikes. On day eight, they wore their favorite, they, they each wrote their eight favorite jokes on the blackboard. On day 10, they were especially cool. They came to school dressed in clothes from the 70s. Ah, I bet they got their parents to help them out with that. Look at that. To the hustle. They're only one tenth of the way there. Ah, I see the doubting kid is still doubting. But hey, they've got a, they've got a plan. They got a rhythm going on. Look at this whole love child thing happening here, love and peace, and she's got some beads, and he's got the wacky glasses and the bell bottoms. Wow, everybody's a fashionista in this school. Well, sometimes, and this will happen when you take risks of any kind, especially fashion risks, but sometimes their ideas backfired. For example, on day 17, they tried walking backwards all day. Whoa. That turned out to be sort of uncool. On day 21, they wore boxer shorts over their pants. Maggie's mother almost didn't let her out of the house. You come back here right now. On day 25, they dyed their hair four different colors. That was cool, until they tried to wash it out. 
Let's see, he, he went slightly pink on his orange and she went orange on her black and she went, ooh, uh, green on hers and little purple action happening here. Okay, 25 done, but a whopping 75 to go. Oh, he's like our little voice of conscience, isn't he? Toby, I think is his name, right? Doubting Toby, wow. We're moving on the dates. You see the the chart keeps us keeps us going here. On day thirty three, the cool kids pasted sparkles on their faces. Oh wow, it's like glittery measles. On day forty one, they announced that they were volunteering to read books at the Oak Hills Senior Center after school. <gasps> How cool is that? Said Mrs. Lopez. How cool is that indeed? Oh, Storyteller likes that one a lot. That's super cool because that makes the world a better, happier place. On day 49, they wore shirts that were half white and half black. We're getting there, they shouted. Wow, they're almost halfway. Is this kid holding out? Is he not participating? He's just watching, watching. Sometimes people watch, sometimes people participate. Let's see what's happening here. It looks like we're at the cafeteria. Well, they couldn't think of an idea for day 50. Oh no, but they're halfway there. But yeah, you know, it's a lot of ideas, a lot of thinking that has to go into these, this planning and then they have to do homework and they probably have extracurricular activities and family time. Wow, this takes up a lot of energy. Well, they sat in the lunchroom and talked about it. Little brainstorming session all together. That always works pretty well. Come on, Maggie, said Yoshi. You're good at ideas. I can't think of a thing, said Maggie. Oh, ooh, what about goldfish, said Nathan. Goldfish are cool. There's nothing cool about goldfish, Scott said. But how would we incorporate the whole goldfish idea? I need more details, kids. Well, Toby, you know Toby, the watcher, the commenter, the doubter, was walking by and he heard them talking. I know you'd never make it, he said. Oh boy. You didn't even get halfway. Well, Rosa was nearby too. You can't give up now, she said. We're almost halfway to the party. Hey everybody, come and help us think of ideas. So all the kids in the class came over, everybody. So like, you know, now we're getting all the minds so we can get the maximum number of ideas cooking. So they all came over, Yoshi started taking notes and soon she had a long list. Let's see, oh yeah, it is full. There she's writing notes and there's leftover food and I have another idea, try this one. Don't forget to do this one. Hey, I got a new one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like that one too. I said that first. See, everybody's got an idea. On day five, oh, the kids wore scarves and mittens. They said they were cool. On day 75, they tried to speak Spanish all day. Hola, donde esta la biblioteca? On day 82, they wore hats made out of their favorite foods. Way cool, said Toby, stealing a chocolate chip cookie from his head. Oh. You see, we've got a pizza head here. We've got a banana head. we got some sort of a shrimp scampi situation going on here. That's pretty wild, too. I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this part because that could get really messy and maybe smelly, unless maybe you just eat it at lunchtime, in which case it kind of served double duty. They still need almost 20 new ideas. Thank you, Toby, for your little running commentary. Day 99. Oh. So close, so close, can you feel it? Day 99, they each brought in a collection of <gasps> 99 things. <gasps> That's so much. Let's see, like everybody brought collections of toys, it looks like, different toy collections. Wow, that is, the, this is commitment, commitment. What are you gonna do tomorrow, said Rosa. Well, I'll tell you, said Maggie. No, actually, I won't. It's a surprise. Day 99, tomorrow's day 100. What's the surprise gonna be? And it's not gonna be that they all freeze. I know that already. When the cool kids got to school on day 100, the whole class was already there because you know everybody's excited, right? About what's been going on. Yoshi was wrapped up in cardboard. <laughs> Scott had a plastic garbage bag around him. Maggie and Nathan were wearing their parents' raincoats. All four were covered head to foot. Get ready, said Maggie. I can't believe they made it. Oh yeah, Toby, they made it. 
Get ready, said Maggie. One, two, and three! And off came the covers. Everybody cheered. They had made it through 100 days of cool. And the crowd goes wild. And Ms. Lopez, she's amazed. That's her name, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at remembering sometimes. Mrs. Lopez, yes. Now look at them. They're back to their crazy, wacky costumes again, and they've got pins everywhere. <sighs> they made those 100 days of school so cool. Well, what did Mrs. Lopez do? She brought out the food, and the cool party got underway. Dunkun, 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 dunkun. But Scott didn't look happy. What? What? Why? What's up, Scott? Asked Mrs. Lopez and the storyteller. What's up, Scott? This is a successful event. What are we going to do tomorrow? Said Scott. All the fun is over. Oh, he doesn't want it to end. Look at this in the middle of... Oh, can I just take a moment here to look at this feast? There's a beautiful cake and some sort of a potato salad. Looks like meatballs over here. Fruit punch! 100 days, look at the streamers, balloons, party hats, everybody's having a good time. And I understand Scott, he's the kid who's already looking ahead to day 101 and wondering, is it, is it not gonna be special anymore? Well, it could be as special as you decide you wanna make it. So, that was 100 days of cool. Well, Maleficent, well, where's the part where they all freeze and, and are forced to live inside igloos and not have coats on? I, that's what, I mean, this is a very, very misleading book title. Well, I, I don't think so. I think that I clearly said it was a math of blah, 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 blah. I don't care what you said. It clearly indicates 100 days of cool and they were wearing hats, which seemed to suggest to me that they were going to freeze and, and it was going to be torture. Delicious, delicious, icy torture. Uh, but once again, storyteller, if that is your real name, you disappoint me. Well, kid, I hope that you, on the other hand, are very happy and especially happy to see that the kids had an amazing time and not, you know, a torturous frozen time. See you next time on Kid Time Story Time. Bah.